My talk today is on hydraulic fluids. I should mention that this work was a collaboration between Afton Chemical Corporation and Eaton Corporation, which is a pump manufacturer. And uh, I do appreciate some of the discussion about hydraulic fluids this morning. I was a little worried that I would have to provide a fairly uh, extensive background, but, but I think people have a general sense of hydraulic fluids. And I'm not going to get into a real great detail today, but what I am going to talk about is energy efficiency, how hydraulic fluids can be affected, can affect energy efficiency, and how base oils can play a role in energy efficiency. The work's going on in this area. Okay, um, so there's a lot of interest in improving efficiency. How do you demonstrate that? How do you test for this? And traditionally, we've seen some field tests that have been carried out. Uh, but there's some limits with carrying out a field test. For mobile applications, it's very difficult to control all the variables, such as temperature, duty cycle, operator, um, and so forth. For stationary applications, um, there, there's still some variables that come into play. So at Afton, we decide if we really want to carefully compare efficiency of different hydraulic fluids, we want to do that in a rig setup where we can control carefully all the variables. The other thing I'll add is that there's ASTM activity in this area. The pump manufacturers and the fluid providers are working towards standardized methodology. And I should mention that there's an upcoming um, symposium plan to discuss this in June of 2012 at an ASTM meeting. If anyone wants further information about that, please contact me. Okay, the goals of our hydraulic efficiency testing program were to develop a pump stand capable of accurately measuring hydraulic efficiency under a wide range of operating conditions, to look at a range of pumps, and to look at a range of fluids. The hydraulic pump stand that we developed at Afton accommodates a wide range of pumps. We can run piston, vein, or gear, we can run open or closed loop, and carry this out under a broad range of pressures. This is a snapshot of the unit, and it's a little bit difficult to get a full measure of what this represents. Um, behind the uh, glass door here is where the pump is located. The pump is relatively small. Um, this whole unit to, to run this fairly small pump to be able to accommodate a wide range is about two and a half meters high by about four meters long. So it's a very large setup which occupies an entire test cell. Um, when we talk about pump efficiency, a lot of the work that's been carried out so far has to do with viscosity and pump efficiency. And typically, what you see is with volumetric efficiency, that as the viscosity increases, the volumetric efficiency increases. And this is because um, volumetric efficiency is very related to, uh, to uh, slippage of, of, uh, of fluid. And so the thicker the fluid is, there's less loss of uh, volumetric efficiency. In contrast to this is, is what most people you've been hearing so far in this meeting talk about. It's more of the mechanical efficiency side. And, and that is as the fluid becomes thicker, it's more difficult to push the fluid around. And so the mechanical efficiency drops off. Um, the challenge is to balance those two. And simply the uh, overall efficiency is a product of the volumetric uh, multiplied by the mechanical efficiency. And you'll see that there's no scale on this curve, but which uh, is widely used when people talk about hydraulic efficiency. So the question is, what sort of units are we looking at? And are all pumps the same, or are all fluids the same? So that, that's what we set out to explore. So, conclusions from this work. Volumetric efficiencies for the Group 1 and Group 2 oils were, were basically the same, as, as would be expected. For the mechanical efficiencies, under almost all test conditions, we see the Group 2 is slightly more efficient than the Group 1. The improvement seems to be larger at the lower temperature conditions, and the absolute differences are small, all under 1%, but um, all, all we view to be significantly different. The total efficiencies, the group two is slightly better than the group one. 
with the uh, ISO 32 oils being more efficient than, than the ISO 46 as we saw by the previous uh, study. So we try to get do a little more work to understand why the group two would have some better efficiency than the group one. Again, it's not a, a, a viscometric impact. It's not affecting biometric efficiency. It's affecting mechanical efficiency. And we're still in the process of doing some basic studies here, but we believe that the chemical composition of the base oils, that being uh, less of the uh, polycyclic materials, plays a role in, in why the group two is slightly more efficient than the group one. As I say, we have additional work that's uh, being planned here. Okay, my overall conclusion from this work is that efficiency of an oil is dependent on a number of factors. Pump type clearly plays a role. A vein versus closed loop piston, we see some very different um, relative results. Operating conditions play a role. We saw some very different efficiency results depending on uh, what your operating conditions were. And so you need to be careful. If someone makes a claim that, that they're getting you know, 5 or 10% improvement in uh, operating or in efficiency for, for an oil or for a pump, you need to make sure we understand um, what the operating conditions are. Viscosity grade clearly plays a role. Uh, we, we saw this uh, throughout the studies. And also group one versus group two can play a role. The closed loop piston pump, as we've shown, prefers a lighter viscosity grade. It prefers the more refined to a 2% efficiency improvement under control test conditions. A 2% efficiency may not sound like a lot when you compare it to some of the claims that are being out there. But certainly, uh, the people who are worried about engine oils, um, getting a 2% improvement is pretty significant. So, and this is just the start of work.